This video was brought to you by Stoinberg, Abedur Planner, Mr. Green, Camp Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? We are now at Klofta Supercharger and behind me here you see Millennium Falcon, the legend. This is a eight and a half, well actually, uh, it's almost nine year old car. Uh, it was born in November 2013. So uh, in four months it will be nine years old. The battery is actually eight years old and then some of the drivetrain has been replaced but the car is still almost nine years old. And then in this video I'm going to test some acceleration. So um, with such an old car, how is the acceleration going to be? You know, when the car is brand new, it's supposed to be 4.4 seconds. I don't know if that is with one foot rollout or not, but uh, we will test. And then I guess uh, maybe I'll also measure noise, I'm not sure, but I also test the braking. So I tested, by the way, prior to this, I made a run with some, uh, uh, no, no, it's Nero's, Frigus, the Frigus winter tires. They did it quite poorly as expected. Now we have, well, I can show you better. Um, let me fire up some light here. The pizza wheels are back. <laughs> you know, I think these are quite aerodynamic. Maybe I should do a little range test with them. So this is Falcon tires, FK520. I'm quite uh, surprised how well they are, uh, how well they perform. So Falcon tires on Millennium Falcon, that's must be the best, right? So they, we just have the, the uh, normal uh, dimension on these. See, 245, 45, 19, no stagger or anything like that. But uh, we will see then. Uh, let's go inside. For you guys who've never seen Millennium Falcon, uh, he is so nice and shiny. Can you guys see that? Because we have some uh, ceramic coating on him. So, so yeah, yeah, no, no, this, 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 this. it's D-Tech, yes, D-Tech from Pitstop Beer Player. The car just looks branch banking new because of this. So anyway, and then Mr. Green has been helping me uh, with the repairs with Millennium Falcon. He was, uh, well, he needed some repair when I picked it up. Uh, was that one or two years ago? <sighs> anyway, we are now, this is the name of the game. We are charging at Supercharger <laughs> and it goes so slow. Yeah, but whatever. So I think I have enough now. I will do the final preparation. I can show you here, Sky my Tesla. We have 95%. Okay, 402 volt. We're taking 10 kilowatt. The car reports 360 kilowatt. All right, let's see how that one uh, turns out. And the battery, unfortunately, I can't heat it up more. I think Tesla intentionally keeps it not too hot so uh, this shit doesn't blow up. <laughs> but okay, so uh, let's, uh, let's do the final preparation. I will uh, do the regular test stretch here. Go over here and then uh, do the braking and acceleration a lot. And I can show you here. Uh, no, 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 the, 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 look at this, look at this. <laughs> Millennium Falcon. 300, let's say 356,000 kilometers. Yes, it's getting old, but can he still perform? Oh, I can't wait to see, man.
grab your back, let's take a look at the results. You see here, Millennium Falcon managed to do it quite well. 4.5 seconds, 0 to 100. And this is kind of crazy because uh, you see that, uh, what is this a copy paste error? No, it's not. <laughs> so the rear wheel drive managed to go off the line even faster than all wheel drive Polestar 2 up until the, 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 the uh, well actually yeah um the Polestar 2 never caught up with the uh, Millennium Falcon that's how fast Millennium Falcon is remember it's Millennium Falcon freaking legend man so um uh, what else is yeah okay so according to spec it's supposed to be 4.4 seconds they did it in 4.5 seconds slightly slower uh, but i guess it depends how they look at it because uh, traditionally tesla they will uh, uh, the specification for performance will be against um, the CO200 time with one foot rollout. So in that case, it's 4.3 seconds. But then for the non-performance, like long range or, or a standard range plus or something, then Tesla does not uh, count the one foot rollout. Then they will count the more uh, standardized, uh, the actual CO200. Uh, but uh, I want to show you something here. If you go, okay, we have to select this one and then go to data and then create filter. I've added a new column here, which is uh, uh, drive. Well, I just call it drive. But uh, we have all wheel, all wheel drive, right? Or front wheel, rear wheel drive. And you'll see here that if you sort by rear wheel drive cars, Millennium Falcon is by far the fastest one. And then we have a P85 with seven seater. The seven seater is heavier. I should reflect it here. Well, actually, 40 kilograms there. But maybe this one wasn't fully prepped for uh, for launching and everything. I don't remember how I did it back then. Uh, it had a hock of black too, which would be quite sticky. But oh yeah, 21 inch. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> you see, 21 inch wheels. That's why you usually get 0.1 second slower acceleration time. Heavier rims is always like that. But just look here how Tesla dominates here so uh tesla tesla okay this is uh e-drive this is the fastest rear wheel drive or the fastest uh, rear wheel drive, front wheel drive uh 5.1 second then we have a bunch of sr plus here maybe i should remove some of these but okay a test is a test and then the ix3 is also remarkably fast well, okay, or fast uh, six and a half seconds and then uh, cooper was the front wheel drive yeah that one is quick quick pretty quick and then you have a bunch of front wheel drives here and then you have some oh, yeah, and some rear wheel drive so this is <laughs> just showing you guys that in general front wheel drive rear wheel drive they tend to be kind of slow uh but millennium falcon is just king tom top of the hill well let me uh, turn off uh, what can we undo undo yeah back, 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 back. okay no that way uh, yeah, yeah see here but anyway for at least if we look at the top of list here versus here then this is this is damn good so uh, yeah i wanted to show this list again to compare compare against all wheel drive so Millennium Falcon beats a whole bunch of all-wheel drive. <laughs> yeah, that's how awesome Millennium Falcon is. But uh, I should mention that, uh, well, as you guys saw also, uh, as you launch more and more and the state of charge drops, then also you will the, it will go slower and slower. So that's the, the problem with the classic uh, Teslas is that I guess maybe I should do uh, a 90 to 10 percent launch if you guys are for it we can measure everything uh, how many kilowatts uh, we are pulling towards the end uh the battery temperature and so on uh, that would be interesting uh we will see i guess how many views i get on this video and then i'll consider the other one also extended because it takes extra time when it comes to braking um you saw that initially i tried the figus tires again i keep saying this i kept I, i've been saying this for a long time that you should not use winter tires in summer and this is exactly why and i, I was actually making a big sin because i drove around with winter tires a little bit too long but then on the other hand my defense is that i don't use Millennium falcon that much but uh, you see how poor the the braking performance is with winter tires in summer the, the, you see here the winter tires are on the bottom here and we're talking about almost 10 meter difference here if you had to break for something a moose or something then it's really critical that you have good braking performance so never ever ever use uh, winter tires in summer take my advice but okay anyway when it comes to the performance on this one then um how is yeah oh ooh, you, ooh, you, you look at this i just noticed something uh Milan falcon is lighter because it's just rear wheel drive so even the Falcon tires actually beat Model S Performance Raven, eh? huh? like a boss. Um, what else is it? Okay, it didn't beat the Germans, yeah, unfortunately. I guess if I get fatter tires, then I might be able to beat the Germans. So, all right. And then the last thing I'm going to show is noise. So it comes up here. So you see that actually Millennium Falcon is fairly quiet for... Um, 
for a Tesla, right? Because uh, you see that down here we have a Model 3, a bunch of Model 3s and stuff, SR Plus, Model Y, well, uh, long range, okay. Uh, where's the model Y performance? Uh, model Y performance, uh, go, go. Yeah, look here. Even recently, I said that, oh, the Pirelli PC, well, this is even done in the left lane, where it's slightly smoother. You see that um, Millennium Falcon even beat the Model Y performance, but that is 21 inch wheels, of course. Um, eventually, I will test the 18 and 19 inch wheels, but uh, just to give you guys a, a, an idea of. Uh, how how it is with uh, with Millennium Falcon, an old classic car, and you can see well, okay, again some of the other uh, results here. Then they, they were done on the right lane, but then maybe one two years ago, and then the the asphalt wasn't that rough. But uh, what I'm saying is that uh, Millennium Falcon here, uh, actually, despite being almost nine years old. It has pretty good uh, performance, and okay, I forgot to show you guys the. Well, maybe this is, uh, let me see. Let me go here. Range, range. Okay, uh, uh, I should search for uh, MF. There, there, there. Yeah, I did. Wait, I did some test, right? Uh, there, 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 there. Okay, this was done with Goodyear Eagle, though. But yeah, look at that. Four hundred kilometers of range. Uh, you can. This was done. Yeah, nineteen degrees Celsius. So, you see. Even this beaten down old car has 400 kilometers range. The 0 to 100 in 4.5 seconds, which beats many of the cars today, has awesome space. You guys know how good space this car is. That's a huge frunk, the classic frunk. Uh, what else is it? Pretty good braking performance also. F fairly good noise levels. Maybe you can aftermarket uh, uh, soundproof it to make it even better. But uh, what I'm saying is that this car, despite being nine years old, kicks ass for the Lord, Lord Elon Musk, the Almighty. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. Okay, don't take it too seriously. But okay, anyway, uh, so I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.